courtesy of High Snobiety, and it features Justin Bieber in a new Balenciaga campaign, wearing a hoodie that looks like it's too small for him, or it's been tailored in a way to come up that short on his wrist. I'm not too sure. But the one standout thing I thought about this campaign, apart from Justin Bieber looking very handsome, is the Balenciaga Triple S's. The ones that I had that unfortunately I had to bin because the sole completely crumbled. Another another casualty of flipping COVID, right? What happened was that I had them in a box and I guess I was wearing them. I didn't realise how often I was wearing them because I was kind of, you know, I'll take them out um, periodically here or there when I was going out raving. But unfortunately, because they were size 44 and my right, left foot is kind of bigger than my right and I, it probably needed to get a 45, but they would have been too big. I don't really know, but they were a little bit too small. So I didn't wear them often. Too, I didn't wear them too much, but I also did wear them once every two months or something. So... I guess because of that, I didn't notice that you needed to keep a gel pack in the shoe because I was wearing them every once or two months. So now because of the lockdown, and because of the pandemic, there were time where I just wouldn't wear anything apart from house slippers and, you know, Air Force Ones. I then finally went to open the box and take them out one night and the soles were legitimately crumbling in my hands, crumbling. And it was all sticky and stuff. Like I was like, oh no, I had to, throw, I had to bend them. I could have got probably one more use out of them that night, but I didn't want to be the guy in the club, like walking around with like shoes with no soles on them and all crumbling. Cause you know, you know, that, that would have been a bad look. But that aside, the triple S I found, I'm not sure if everyone else has a pair, are legitimately one of the hardest shoes to wear in an outfit. Like, cause they're so gigantic. Like, you know, of course the whole point, like triple soles mesh meld together with that massive upper. There's no flex on them whatsoever. And they legitimately feels like bricks, but it's not cool. There's not a good way to wear them. You know what I mean? And then now I'm seeing this campaign picture of Justin in these really oversized jeans without covering the entire shoe. It's now making me feel this is what I should have done when I had mine, which is now making me feel like I should go and purchase another pair of these because they're classics. And I know they're Marmite shoes and many people didn't like them, um, which was beneficial for me because they were easier to buy. But I legitimately liked them. I wore them a lot when I had them. Really, really a lot. I wore them on holiday. I wore them going out. I wore them to work until, unfortunately, my feet started to expand and, you know, I couldn't kind of fit into them on a daily basis anymore. But I'm definitely going to end up getting them another pair. Uh, like I said, before the last one I got was a 44. This time I'll definitely get a 45. And I'll definitely try and freak it with a pair of oversized, um, light pair of denim like this. Usually with black shoes, I tend to go with darker denim. But I do like the kind of combination with the black hoodie and the light jeans. That does quite look quite cool. And these particular jeans with this massive hole in the size does remind me of a pair of jeans I remember Demner wearing day to day when he used to wear his New Rock boots. So maybe this is something he's kind of pulled from his own archives. But Justin looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. He's him, him in the studio chilling. Is that a belt they've made? That's pretty cool if they made like a belt. Is that like similar to what Virgil made in his collection? I don't know if that is. If that's just like a standard thing. But he's in the studio chilling, doing his thing. And yeah, those are the, they're the triple S's. Like such a Marmite shoe, man. But it's funny because at the time, these were considered really ugly. Maybe still people think they're ugly now, but considering what we have on the market, these look pretty basic. They look pretty normal. They just look like a standard athletic trainer with like an extra sole on the bottom. Especially considering the other shoes that Balenciaga are due to bring out, right? Um, They've got that one shoe that I'm a real big fan of. Let me see if I can get it up on here. Uh, They've got that one shoe that I really, really want. Balenciaga, is it tire sneaker? Let's see, I think it's a tire sneaker. It's a new one that's just come out. Tire. Let's see if it is a tire sneaker. It's got like a really bulbous sole on the bottom. Where is it? Uh, where is this? It's like a tire sneaker thing. Is it a tire sneaker? It's like from the new collection. Where is it? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, even these look... These... These ones here, the was it the round? I don't know what that one is, but the style. But this one even looks way more crazy than the triple S's, in terms of how it's constructed and whatnot. But it's a shoe that they've got at the moment. That's like a tire. It's like a wheel. Oh, the toe. Balenciaga tire sneaker. My bad. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, that's the one. So they've got this one coming out, which looks even more wild compared to the one that I had, the triple S. This looks flipping nuts. But I love. Oh yeah, I want. I love these two, the Crocs. But these look crazy, innit? it? compared to the other ones so it's to, in case you're not um, watching the show it's basically a new uh balenciaga sneak i think from spring summer maybe it's from fall actually and it's basically in an athletic shoe that's encased in a tire basically picture that that's what it essentially looks like i'm not sure if it's 
if it's like a thicker sole or if it's like deceptively thick where it's kind of the shoe kind of sits in and then the tire kind of overlaps on the outside I'm not really too sure it looks like a bike tire too doesn't it? it doesn't look like a tread of a car tire maybe it is a car tire i'm not really sure but it is really interesting looking shoe in it i'd love to wear a pair of these so yeah let's see what happens let's see what happens in it small steps small bloody steps 